Story tonight at 530, Alzheimer's. It's a disease that affects nearly 81,000 Kentuckians and their families, but new FDA approved drugs and blood tests could help with early detection. Tonight, ABC 36's Sydney St. Clair has the latest on new treatments and research. There are quite a few myths when it comes to Alzheimer's, such as memory loss is a normal part of aging, and Alzheimer's only affects older people. But the disease is caused by the protein amyloid, which degenerates the neurons in the brain. Before we think actually it takes um, up to 20 years before patients come with symptoms, they may have these proteins accumulating. So the next area of, in this field will be prevention of Alzheimer's. I think it's all very exciting. On Thursday, the Alzheimer's Association announced the release of a new drug, Kisunla, meant to target the protein. Uh, so these new drugs actually target the disease itself. They're called disease-modifying therapy because they target this amyloid proteins. They actually clear this from the system. The Alzheimer's Association also hopeful about research into early diagnosis of Alzheimer's. Something that is going to change the course of this disease. Being able to get a diagnosis through a blood test. It's more accurate, up to 90 percent. And then also it offers not only accuracy, but more options for care and treatment. And you, it's not as invasive as what we have today. Right now, doctors say the only way to be diagnosed is by getting a spinal tap or a PET scan. In Lexington, Sydney St. Clair, ABC 36 News Now. Uh, the doctors Sydney spoke with today say the next step is prevention and then eventually a cure.